Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be playing this minor Goblin Curse deck. Goblin Curse is actually really, really underrated. I think a lot of people think that it's a dead card. You know, nobody really uses the Goblin Curse anymore. Nobody even talks about it, but I think it's actually quite a good card, especially with the surprise factor. I feel like the Goblin Curse is like the freeze in the sense where it's best when they don't know you have it. Then once they know you have it, you know, maybe you could get them with a nice cheeky play, but it's best when the like you use it the first time than when you use it the other times throughout the match. Just having it as a surprise is super, super nice. Unfortunately, I kind of had the worst start ever with him just going Magic Archer Knight Miner first play on top of my my Valkyrie. <laughs> I mean, not on top of my Valkyrie, on top of my, my Miner, sorry. I can Goblins here. Okay, nice. Nice defense. Not too bad. I will have to Ice Spirit to predict the Magic Archer. I can't really take any risks, but I'll do it here just so in case he did, it would block it, but also support my Miner. Okay. Nice Ice Spirit connection. I'll take that. I haven't even showed him my Goblin Curse yet, which is great. I've actually been having a lot of fun with this deck. I feel like this deck is very solid, and you can win a lot of different matchups if you play perfectly. Goblin Curse is also very nice, not only to get stuff on top of their tower with, like, a Goblin Curse plus Zap combo on, say, Skeletons, Goblins, Goblin Gang, Skarmies, and stuff like that. It's also very good on defense because of the damage implication mechanic. Helps you do a lot more damage. Okay, I'll Goblins. Oh, I'm actually catching the Miner super nice. Pause. Okay, I'm going to Valkyrie here at the bridge. I can even Miner. I know he does have Evo Skeletons. I might not be able to curse that, but I think I should be able to get something decent. Ice Spirit for the Evo Knight just to make sure I take it out. Beautiful. I'll let the rest of this go, honestly. Don't really want to spend any more. I think he'll go for maybe a Miner in a second. I'll just have my Goblins ready. Goblins are really good in this matchup, but I'm going to have to start predicting the front because I think he's going to start going for a Miner plus Prelog, so I have to be careful of that. I do have next Zap Evo, which is great. I'll pre-cycle the Tesla. Goblinstein is really annoying, but I feel like Archer Queen is one of the better cards against Goblinstein. Yeah, in the front again. <laughs> I'll Queen here for the Marcher. Bro, come on, man. Let me predict you, bro. Come on. All right, I'm going to have to pop the ability here, take that out, and I can Valk as well. Make sure to take out that big guy. Wait, I have an idea, guys. Curse Evo Zap. <laughs> nice. He got the lockdown, but I got so much damage right there in like half of a second. That's why the Curse Zap combo is so good, man. He has no log in hand, so I can go for the Goblins Miner. I'm going to... Goblin Curse, and then I'm going to go for the Zap as well. I'll force out the Log again. And look at that damage amplification. It killed everything right away. Nice. Pretty, pretty good comeback so far. I have my Ice Spirit to King. Okay, I can't now. I, I have an idea. I'm going to Ice Spirit like this in Evo Valk right away because the Ice Spirit will jump as the Valk shoots. And if, even if he Nados. Nice! I knew he might try to Nado. That was such a good Ice Spirit Valk play because the Ice Spirit jumped on top as he Nadoed. Wait, I'm going to Tesla here. Then I, I, I. Wait, he used his Log. He used his Log. Curse. And then Zap. Oh! Let's go! Bro, the Goblin Curse is so strong. <laughs> even he's saying oops. He doesn't even know what the heck to do because every time he tries to defend the Miner with the Skeletons, I just go Curse plus Zap. And if he doesn't defend it with the Skellies, then he just has nothing most of the time. Because with the Archer Queen three-card cycle, you can cycle the Curse so quickly. I need to Evo Zap and it's going to retarget. Okay, nice. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm up a lot of damage right now. I know he's going to Miner. I'm going to Queen to predict the Miner. Then I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit on the Knight. Pop the ability. Take out that Miner. Keep the Queen alive. Beautiful. Playing extremely well. Okay, well, Goblins here. Bro, Goblins, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> the Goblins spawned in the exact opposite formation if I was trying to defend the Knight. <laughs> Thank you, Goblins, for all of that. <laughs> Fate card, man. I will be back to another ability, so he can't even really march. I'll just pop the ability just in case he tries to get, like, one sneaky shot. This is pretty close so far. All Goblins here to block. I'm going to go for the Zap. Going to go for the Miner. Going to go for another Curse. I'm one card away from Zap now. Okay, I have Zap, and then I can just go for the... Zap here. I need to get back to another Miner. Miner again. Curse. This is going to be a good game. Let's go. Extremely nice game right there. I actually played this pretty well, I feel like. I was just doing really, really good by saving the Goblin Curse, and I got that one nice curse that caught him off guard, and another curse when he had no log in hand. We're in the next match here, up against Brazilian Storm. Shout out to all my Brazilian viewers. I actually have so many Brazilian supporters I've seen from my comments on my live streams, so thank you guys a lot. I love you all. Uh, I think TMO is I love you in uh, Portuguese, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I know it's like that as well in Spanish, but I think they do have a bit of similarities. Maybe I'm completely wrong, and if I am, I'm, I'm really, really sorry, guys. Okay, looks like this guy's playing Royal Giant. I guess Phoenix, Fisherman, Dark Prince. The Dark Prince kind of throwing me off the hold up. I'm going to Ability, then Miner. Then if I Ice Spear here, I can quickly make it jump, and then he's going to have to defend the Queen again. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to Curse Zap. Bang! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Look at all that damage. <laughs> nice. He had no log in cycle. 
whenever you're going for these cheeky plays, they're best when they don't have login cycle. But even if they have login cycle, sometimes they did, they just don't catch you straight away or they're just not expecting it. So they're a bit caught off guard and they don't defend it in time and they take a bunch of damage anyways. <laughs> right there. I feel like I got enough damage to just defend for the rest of the game now, but I guess we'll see if I can get any more of those. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Goblin Curse is such a funny card. Okay, I'm going to test the goblins here. He's definitely going to log. I may need the Ice Spirit, but I don't think I do. Ever since the regular Tesla got buffed, I feel like it's actually been quite solid. Okay, guys, I'm crossing my fingers. Okay, nice. Let's go. The Tesla, it wasn't exactly a buff. It was a buff to the regular Tesla, but a nerf to the Evo Tesla. That's partially why we have the Evo Zap, Evo Valk combo, but... I feel like the Evo Valk and the Evo Zap pair really, really well with the Goblin Curse, so I think it's just good anyways. I'm going to Evo Valk Miner the Bridge. I know Evo Valk's really good for RG, but he will have to Fisherman, and then he can't even go for the Skeletons on top of the Miner. He has to go for something else. Yeah, there's the Dark Prince, so I get a lot of Miner damage right there. I would say that was worth it. Just the, the threat of the Goblin Curse just made that push, like, so annoying. Okay, I'm going to Tesla here. He can never really use his Skeletons on my Miner, which is great. Oh, Goblins. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to Ice Spirit. I'm going to Valk. He has no Fisher in it. I'm going to Goblin Curse as well to get the damage amplification. And that RG is not even going to get close to getting a hit. Look at that, guys. I think it's like 20% more damage, which is actually quite a lot. Because if you're doing like 500 damage and you're just doing like 600 damage, which is actually insane. Especially in something like this where you have quite a bit of damage going off at all times. Okay, I'm going to Ice Spirit here to make sure that Phoenix gets taken care of. And then I'll Valk the back. I just need to keep doing these solid defenses. Not really worry about too much. And just keep playing solid, I would say. I'll Miner here. He does have Lightning, so I think I'm only going to be doing High Queens from now on. Just like this. That will take out the... Wait, I'm going to Evo Zap the Fisher. Hopefully that can take it out, but it will definitely take out the Phoenix, which is great. I'll pop the ability. Then I can Goblins plus Ice Spirit to take out that RG. Hopefully I can take out the Fisherman, bro. Come on, come on. Nice. Okay, now I can Miner. I have Zap Curse as well. Wait, I could Zap here just to get some extra damage on the tower. Keep cycling my Evo Zap. That's one thing I see a lot of people doing wrong with the Evo Zap cycle decks is that they're not cycling their Zaps enough, but you should be playing it like a log, just constantly cycling it. He has no Fisher, so I can just go for the Evo Valk. Evo Valk, when they have no Fisher, is a free RG defense. Curse Zap here. Take out that fish. Take out that RG. Bro, look at the RG. It's about to go in the opposite lane. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Evo Valk is so funny sometimes. I guess I'll just cycle an another Tesla in the middle. This guy's only gotten one lightning on my left and one log on my right side tower. This guy's actually getting dominated. We'll Valk here on the right as well. Just keep up the cards in the back. And I don't think there's really anything that he can do as long as I keep playing well. I feel like I haven't really made any mistakes so far though. We can go for the High Queen again. He might take the Lightning on top of the Valk, but I have an idea. I'm going to let that pull, then pop the ability so I can kill the Fisherman. And now he can't pull in the Valk or the Miner, so that will be a free RG defense. I think I just need an Ice Spirit here. Maybe I need to Tesla. I don't think I do, but I'll do it low anyways, just to be safe. Beautiful. Going to Goblin Curse Zap Evo. Get some nice damage. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, this guy's actually getting destroyed by the Goblin Curse. All of my damage is just coming from Goblin Curse. He's going to Lightning, so I'll Ice Spirit, then wait on the Valk. Valk here. I'm going to get a Tesla down. I don't think I need the Goblin Curse. I think I just need to get a Zap down on top of that Dark Prince so it doesn't charge to my Tesla. Beautiful plays, man. Goblins again. Gonna go for the High Queen. Make sure I take out that Dark Prince. No mistake so far. Oh, that's on the RG. He's gonna Lightning. It's fine. I'm gonna go for the Evo Valk Ice Spirit. We're good. Easy defense. Tesla. Gonna go for the Zap. <laughs> yeah, that's good game, man. Even if I lag out from here, I don't think he, he could get my tower in time. Let's go. Very nice win, and I will see you guys in the next match. I don't know why he's not giving up, but man, <laughs> that was too easy, bro. That showed the true strength of the Goblin Curse. We're in the next match here, up against Raph. <laughs> Just gonna Ice Spirit the bridge, try to figure out what this guy's playing. I feel like the best starting play with this deck is just zapping the tower. I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of fun playing with types of decks like these i feel like it shows that clash Royale, you know you can use whatever you want and succeed and you can just have a lot of fun with a lot of cards that people don't even think to use like i'm gonna be honest with you guys on my one account my mini account that has a number one finish called tekuma i don't even have the goblin curse unlocked like i don't even have this card unlocked but here i am on my other account having so much fun with it and i feel like that's what clash Royale is about man like i feel like it's kind of funny that you can just have so much fun with whatever you want <laughs> Okay, I'm going to zap here, make sure I take out that. Very nice. Goblin Curse plus zap just took out a whole lane of recruits plus archers. Goblin Curse, man. So solid. And nobody even thinks about it. I just, I also just think it's kind of funny how, how it works. Hold up. I'm going to get the Valk down because he might spell my goblins away. Okay, beautiful. Hold up. He's actually down a lot of elixir right now because he just spent eight 
into seven, but I have a counter pushing Valk, so I can queen the bridge here. Flying machine, he's really low on elixir. I'm not gonna pop the ability just yet. I'm gonna wait a minute. I'm gonna miner here, miner, and then I pop the ability to make the miner tank for the queen. Perfect. What does he even have for this? He has Fisher. I'm gonna Evo zap it immediately. Nice. That's gonna die. My queen's on tower. Let's go. I'm gonna ice spirit here. It's gonna freeze the barbarian barrel, and I'm gonna get an extra queen shot. Let's go. What a good start, man. Now, once again, I just need to defend for the rest of the game. <laughs> Easy, man. Goblin curse should help me out a lot on defense. I feel like fireball bait is pretty hard for a deck like mine because I don't have any, any big spell like a poison, a fireball, even, even like an arrow to help take out some of his units. But I think the goblin curse plus zap combo could help me out a lot, especially against the recruits. All minor guard, I mean, all minor goblins here predicting the guards. Sorry. Oh, he goes for the recruits. Okay. I guess I'll just zap to cycle. I do have Evo Valk, so I'm not really too worried about defense. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to Evo Valk and then I'm going to go for the. Ice Spirit plus Goblin Curse spawn some goblins. There it goes everything. Goblin Curse, dude. What the heck? Goblins here to block that flying machine. Absolutely perfect. Zero damage defense right there. That's what we need to see. I could just zap that Fisher as well. Okay, just keep playing passive, and I think I got this. Just Valk in the back again. Try to get to another Evo. There his Evo archers. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. I think I need to curse zap at least one of those archers away tesla actually i'm gonna goblin curse ice spirit and then i think i should evo zap the archer nah i don't think i should i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna evo zap on the left okay i'm gonna tesla here in the middle then i can go for a valk on the right side oh bad flying machine too right into the valkyrie <laughs> and he wasted the barbarian barrel i'll get an ice spirit down and then i can goblins just to finish off that flying machine zero damage once again not letting this guy get through in any type of way i'll minor like this to tank for the queen if i pop the ability okay yeah force it the, the recruits but i'll pop the ability anyway just to take out the, the left side lane worth of stuff and i have an evo valk plus curse again for defense having all these evo valks is so important man i'm gonna save it though because he's not going for piggies he's not pressuring me anymore so i may as well just save my evo valk and use my goblins and then we can get a nice zap there on those guards and just keep up the pressure queen in the back for the flying machine i just have to play reactive that's the thing with this deck when you have a lead you can just play reactive fully i'm not really even using my goblin curse on offense in this matchup like i could go evo zap and curse on guards or archers or something like that but i don't need to so i may as well just use my curse on defense just because the damage implication factor is so good and then the fact that you're even spawning goblins to keep like distracting for example his fishermen or his recruits is just so good man very underrated Okay, I'm going to Tesla again. If he has piggies, I have... Okay, I'm going to Evo Valk. Good thing I saved my Evo Valk. And I can get a Goblin Curse down. Look at those piggies. They literally disappeared. Barely even touched my Tesla. And there goes the Flying Machine. <laughs> nice. We'll Evo Zap that Archer there. Going to keep up the pressure with the Miner on the tower. Probably going to recruit Bridge up. And now he has to stop attacking and defend a bit. We can get a Valk down on the left. Ice Spirit here. I'm going to Curse on the right. Because I know he. if he goes in, he'll go Piggies on the right. Yep, there are the Piggies. Zap here. Get a Valk down. Those Piggies are literally going to disappear because of the Goblin Curse. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to Queen. And this is just good game, man. There's just nothing he can do. He literally hasn't hit my tower the entire game. Except for that, like, Piggies arrows he did. I gave him damage to get 2,000 in return. And he gives up. Let's go. Easiest game of my life. And I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next game here. Up against this guy from Splash Earth. He has a heal spirit. I haven't seen that in a while. Probably going to be three musketeers. I guess I'll just go for the minor plus goblins. Don't really see how this could go wrong for me. Oh, he is wizard. Okay. Um. Oh, it's Sparky. Oh, heal spirit wizard Nado, man. Okay, I should have remembered that Sparky actually has Nado, but I'm not going to lie. I forgot Sparky was even a thing. When's the last time you guys played up against Sparky? I haven't faced Sparky in literally forever because everyone that I play against has like, you know, E-Drag, Lightning in this meta, like E-Drag, Lightning, Monks, Goblinstein, like all the best counters to the Sparky. Nobody even uses that guy anymore, man, or that uh that trash cane on wheels or whatever they, they used to call it back in the day. Okay, I can Miner. Never mind, I'm not going to Miner, but I will pop the ability. Of course, yes, Goblinstein, I'm not, I'm not even surprised. I feel like Goblinstein Sparky could be a nasty deck. Like, just think about this, right? giant or goblin giant sparky and then you have like a split goblin stein and then a wizard in the other lane that could be actually very or like a split goblin or like a mini pekka in front of the like a mini pekka behind the goblin stein monster that could be so strong now that i think about it okay i have a terrible cycle i'll valk the back right now i don't really know what to do here i'm hoping he giants on the left because if he giants on the right i could be in a bit of trouble Okay, I have to Ice Spirit to block. I'm going to Goblins immediately. There's the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go for the Evo Zap, and then I can Tesla again. I'm good. Nice defense, I guess. Could have been a bit better, maybe, but 
I don't know. He kind of got me good with that. Oh, no, bro. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Okay, wait. I'm going to Goblin Curse. I'm going to Evo a Valk. And then I'm going to go for the Ice Spirit just to freeze everything and keep my Valk alive. Come on. Please, please. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Only a few monster hits. I'm fine with that, bro. That could have been so much worse for me. I'm going to send in a Miner to keep up the pressure. He's probably going to zap the Valk. So I'm going to zap his tower as well to try to get some extra damage. Oh, bro. I was hoping to get that Valk swing off. That would have been a beautiful Valk swing. <laughs> There's a Sparky in the back again. It's just going to be a whole game of me going like on defense and him sparking the back and trying to break through. I guess it will just come up to if I have really good defense or if he has like a really good NATO, maybe like NATOing the Sparky or NATOing the Wizard to get a bunch of damage. Kill a spear hit a block, goblin cursed, and pop the ability, DPS everything down. Very nice damage. Implication zap Valk. Minor for the wizard. Beautiful defense. Oh no, the monster. Bruh. I couldn't even do anything right there because of that stupid uh electrocution ability thingy that the goblin stein had. It was gonna kill my goblins if I did that. Man, this is gonna be a rough one. Actually, just that monster, bro. So much HP. Maybe I have to cycle two Teslas queen here at least i have the evo zap and next valk after this one will be evo there's the split goblinstein push i was talking about man oh no i'll just valk on that pop the ability no bro i might have just sold okay i'm gonna goblins cursed and evo zap make sure to get the most amount of damage possible ice spirit here then evo valk beautiful ice spirit hitting that sparky goblins again bro i just double stacked goblins on him <laughs> i just double stacked goblins i didn't even need that minor but i didn't think they would miss his evo zap it's fine. Probably gonna see another Sparky. Yup. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna zap. It's not like a crazy one, but I'm just gonna zap here to get some extra minor damage on that tower because I need to at least equalize the game or else I'm dead. Because he has zap and, uh, not rage, zap and NATO as his only spells. It looks like so. If I'm like nearly close to him, then I can win the game just by minor curse and zap damage. But he has a bit better spell damage if you talk about just the spells on their own curse here then i'm gonna zap beautiful ice spirits man these ice spirits if i win it's gonna be why we're good that wizard got a hit on the right but who cares i'm just gonna valk here i think i can go all in well not all in but just go very aggressive because even if he goes for the sparky i have the evo zap okay yep i'm gonna curse it first so then when i evo zap it, it does a lot of damage to the sparky not bad not bad gonna get another tesla down that sparky's about a bit less than half i'm gonna queen again he might get a nice goblin guy ability off gonna take that out oh nice he messed up the ability i'm gonna goblin curse i'm gonna evo valk then zap beautiful timing ice spirit again freeze that i'm gonna minor i'm gonna curse then i'm gonna get the zap down immediately try to dps that sparky beautiful play hold up that sparky's gonna die it's gonna die it's gonna die let's go and the minor lives the evo valk is going insane pop the ability here get another valk down at the bridge the wizard died at the valk too what bro that's game over let's go he has no time to win curse evo zap that it's gone let's go ggs thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye